In the heart of a desolate town, surrounded by overgrown trees and a thick fog that never seemed to lift, stood the abandoned U.S. Marine Hospital. Once a place of healing and hope, it now emanated an aura of dread that sent shivers down the spines of anyone who dared to pass by. Local legends spoke of the hospital's grim history. It was said that in the late 1800s, the hospital's head physician, Dr. Nathaniel Thorne, had performed grotesque experiments on patients, pushing the boundaries of medical ethics. Patients would mysteriously disappear, their anguished cries echoing through the corridors late at night. Rumors swirled that Dr. Thorne had become obsessed with conquering death itself, and that his experiments had given birth to malevolent entities. One stormy night, a group of curious teenagers decided to venture into the hospital, armed with flashlights and trembling nerves. As they stepped across the threshold, the air grew heavy, and an icy chill gripped their hearts. The flickering lights cast eerie shadows that seemed to dance with malicious intent. They ventured deeper into the hospital, their footsteps echoing in the silence. The walls were adorned with faded, peeling wallpaper, and the smell of decay lingered in the air. The group's bravado wavered as they entered the surgery room, where rusted instruments lay haphazardly on the bloodstained table. Suddenly, the temperature plummeted, and an otherworldly wail filled the air, sending them scrambling for their flashlights. In a room that was once the children's ward, they discovered a collection of old toys. As they examined a broken music box, its notes began to play on their own, a haunting lullaby that seemed to come from nowhere. Terrified, they rushed out of the room, only to find the hallway they had entered from had vanished. Panic set in as the walls shifted and corridors stretched endlessly, leading them deeper into the hospital's malevolent grasp. As the night wore on, the group's fear intensified. They encountered apparitions of nurses in tattered uniforms, their hollow eyes filled with an unquenchable sorrow. The ghostly patients moaned and shuffled in the darkness, reaching out as if seeking solace from the living. Each step they took felt like an eternity, the hospital itself conspiring to keep them trapped within its nightmarish maze. In a desperate bid to escape, the group reached the hospital's decrepit chapel. Its pews were occupied by spectral figures, their heads bowed in eternal prayer. At the altar stood Dr. Nathaniel Thorne himself, his eyes ablaze with malevolent glee. He beckoned them forward, promising them eternal life through his twisted experiments. Summoning their last ounces of courage, the group managed to break free from the chapel's grasp. Racing through the winding corridors, they finally stumbled upon an old storage room. With trembling hands, they found a dusty, forgotten trapdoor beneath a pile of debris. With a collective heave, they managed to pry it open and emerged into the moonlit night. Gasping for breath, they realized they had escaped the clutches of the U.S. Marine Hospital. The building stood behind them, dark and brooding, its windows like empty eyes watching their every move. They knew that the horrors they had witnessed were not to be spoken of, that the malevolent forces within the hospital were best left undisturbed. And so, the U.S. Marine Hospital stood as a chilling reminder of the darkness that can fester within the walls of a place once meant for healing. Its haunted corridors would forever echo with the anguished cries of the past, a cautionary tale for those who dared to seek the truth behind its chilling history.